I'd like to let you know at the top of the episode what you are in store for. We're working on Main Street. We have a lot in mind, an inn, a bakery, a tailor's, an armorer's. It's going to be a great episode, guys. Sit back and enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Islands with me, UTC, coming at you from our temperate island here on the Geeks Patreon server. And uh, ooh, there we go. Perfect. That's the new sarcastic clap. I love it. Um, we're coming at you from the top of the lighthouse. Uh, this is the subject of the most recent episode in this series. And if you find yourself enjoying this series, guys, uh, I am playing this game every day after a period of playing Ark Survival Evolved every day for quite a long time. And that's going to be shocking to some people to see me playing a different game. I have, uh, anyway, if you are enjoying it, click the like button, guys. As soon as these episodes start hitting a thousand views with regularity, and 100 likes with regularity, the series is going to grow. And I'm really loving the game, and and because the potential of building in this game, I am dedicated to spending a bunch of time here. Uh, What is new, guys, and what is today's episode going to be about? Today's episode is going to be a little bit all over the place. I played for the last couple hours waiting for a clear idea to emerge, and I think this may be an episode of do a little bit of things all over the place, because that's what I've been doing. Uh, This is my ship totally utilitarian at the moment but those are the positions i want the sails in when i do get building on it Uh, and i used that to go to a desert island and collect some sand and sandstone so we have the opportunity to build with sandstone ooh lag and with uh, a bunch more glass so i want to get away from this and do something different uh, and i think i want to do a bunch of small things for us today so um sort of I've, i've basically wanted to build my town and my area around uh function Uh, Because I find, especially with me having been a builder in another game, playing a ton of arc and building, I think I started to lose people a little bit when I got away from utility a little. So we're going to take a look at my town, and and I'll I'll talk you through it. So one of the key um, stations that you need uh, in your base is this blacksmith forge. You need it for making armor and weapons and things like that, right? Um, So I have the, the uh, whatever they're called, uh, furnaces here that will make the iron ingots. I have a little hidden storage here, and I've got the blacksmith thing right there. And I've done it, instead of just having them out in the open, I've tried to build my base and my town around it. Um, I've also been doing some landscaping. This is aloe vera. I just thought it looked good. I think I might have gone overboard, though. That's too much. Uh, Anyway, so then this building, I think, I originally built for the kilns. I'm thinking about moving them, uh, because it's super crowded in here. If you guys see the little shelves with stuff on them, that's me trying to put my stuff away. And so I think that's what some of these next buildings are going to be for. So I'm thinking armory. This is a place where we will store armor and weapons, things like that when we're not using them. I have already gone ahead and planned that. I'm storing some of my extra tools here in case I ever get a visitor and they need a set of tools. These are some extras that I've had to make uh, while building up my town, while going on adventures. Uh, And I think I'd like to eventually put some of this stuff away. Like I've got iron hammers here just because there's no better place to put them. And I did these little mannequins. Uh, with poles and with armor just because it's well it's really hard to label things there are no quick easy signs clearly I went to the trouble of making signs anyway but uh, yeah I'm thinking the armory so uh, because I've already built that wall up and it would be a pain to remove either we make an entrance here through the neighboring building or we make an upper entrance which is what these test stairs were for uh, so I'm thinking that one out like I said guys today's video will be a little bit of everything so I'm going to introduce you to the things you may see me working on throughout it then a tailor tailor what's the deal with that well if you look at how adorable it is setting up little outfits on stands like this and if you're going to have different outfits in the game like for example uh, you're going to cold weather grab your fur armor whatever going to somewhere dangerous grab your armor you might as well have it have it been I don't know display neatly I guess uh, and so I'm thinking we'll have a tailor and when we talk about form uh, and function the important thing here is that this is where you're also going to do your um, cloth production so you'll have spinning wheels you'll have the weaving loom maybe one weaving loom three spinning wheels seems like the good ratio and I have built a garden off the back People have been telling me I need this. So for a long time, I had a cotton crop and a flax crop over here. And I'm slowly getting rid of all my crops there and putting them in better places. And so uh, people told me 
the cotton, the flax, they're fine, but you need this, the agave. And what happens here is you pick it and, and the plant stays there and it grows back, which is fantastic. It saves you a ton of labor replanting. So I built a custom little garden. These are super tropical looking plants. So I tried to plant some other tropical stuff around it. Maybe we'll stash like one banana tree in there or a couple pineapples or something. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's what I was thinking with this garden. And you can actually walk on top of this. That wasn't my intention, but you can totally walk on top of that. So <laughs> so that'll work. Uh, and we can use that. And then I think what I'll have in the back of this place is a little hidden area for the crafting stations, maybe like a, a very small kind of back room like this. And then in the front, we'll have some storage for cloth for uh clothing extra clothing and stuff and then we'll pick two or three good looking ones uh, and we'll put them in maybe like a, a wide open window in the front of the place that's kind of what i'm thinking and with that entrance maybe being higher having this one on this level makes sense and then i started thinking about a bakery so that would oh pardon me a little bit of lag guys that would potentially steal uh, one of these kilns because it really looks like it could be a pizza oven uh, or a baking oven so if i do that right i could uh, put it to good use and it's gonna save me doing my food cooking up here and i can repurpose this room into like a little bedroom or something like that uh, with kind of like the essential gear i'm gonna have on me uh, and guys i gotta tell you this is this is part of me loving the game is going through all these thought processes thinking about this stuff i kind of had done it so many times in arc it all feels fresh again so uh uh, when I think about setting up a bedroom, I'll put my essential stuff up there. And then that means I could move all the cooking down here. And I'm thinking we might make this a two-story building and have the entrance be a little taller. Something like that, just for variety's sake. Have maybe a raised entrance or a front deck on it. And then off the back of this, I have planted everything that you are going to want as a baker. So I put these cassava roots, which you can make cake out of, on this side closest to that more tropical looking uh, of uh, gardens and I think I may cut it off right around here and do that and then over here we're going to plant a little bit of the grain and eventually buckwheat which I have to go find those are all things you can make bread out of the buckwheat the quinoa and the grain and then you can make that weird cake stuff out of this so that's what I'm thinking with this garden back here and I'm starting to get carried away, guys. Uh, and then my original idea for gardens were around the dyes. So raspberries are going to be great for red dye. I have a plant that's great for blue dye. And this flax is great for white dye. And then spinach, I think, you can do for green. So uh, I'm thinking eventually we will have lay something out like that, um, where we have gardens based on dye colors and then we could have a little room here set up for making dyes and things like that um but yeah i'm excited to repurpose this stuff put it somewhere useful and same with this stuff in the upstairs of that house so i'm gonna get to work derping around on a few things around here guys i will bring you back uh, when i have something interesting to show you what a difference a day or two makes in game guys so I've been thinking as the town has been growing about roads and the ways in and out of town. Now there's not much else on this island yet. We're still kind of the first ones to get developed on here. And as far as I know, I only have one neighbor as yet. Uh, so at one point I had worked out a road out here and I'd started recently. I think this will be the subject of our Sunday live stream if you don't tune in already Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. on the channel right here on YouTube live stream in islands um, and I think we'll work on roads maybe for that upcoming one so my one plan for roads and I'll show you what I got so far was uh, little posts with lamps on top and um, I planted tall oaks around and I think I may have gone overboard these trees are too big I think maybe I need some smaller trees and as you get further away uh, so the trees get bigger uh, and then I'll show you guys the spot that we're going to work on in this chunk of the video I think is the bakery I've done a little bit of work on the back of it um, and I just want to show you another peek so I've completely removed my gardens that were through here the only permanent crop was corn I've chopped it down we are poised to plant some huge crops at some point um, but this is the road as I worked it out leaving town so as I worked out this road I still had all my crops up here to the right so I thought about just a footpath out of town realistically this should be a bigger way out of town but for now we can work out a footpath uh, maybe if we have something important to build to in this direction 
uh, we will eventually uh, need a bigger road. But this is what I worked out, guys. And obviously, I kept it simple. I took the shovel and leveled out the ground. I free placed logs and free placed lanterns on top so those can be picked up. And I kept planting trees as I went along here because there weren't that many on both sides. So I wanted to beef it up and make it feel like a covered pathway. This would lead you around to here. And I think I didn't get it going. I didn't get the path going a whole lot much further. Uh, but you can kind of get an idea, guys. We can start to branch out from our home base. Are there still... Yeah, interesting. I was able to capture a couple of goats. We could eventually put a little farm out here. That would be great. Maybe we will think about that down the road, guys. But let's head back and we'll take a look at the bakery. So back in town here, guys. I've been working out those crops a little better. Those cassava ones that I had along here completely ditched them. They didn't feel right back here. So we're either going to have all quinoa... Well, we're going to have quinoa with the other bread crops. I think just some of this grain and eventually buckwheat. Buckwheat looks a little bit like the quinoa shorter maybe with white flowers. I think it'll look great. Uh, I also have giant crops of flax and cotton we can eventually plant. But at this point, they'll be mostly for looks. So we'll have to figure out a space that we kind of need to fill. I'm thinking along the sides of the roads, eventually some some crop areas might be cool but uh same with corn yeah so corn flax and cotton i have giant amounts of seeds and i gotta plant them um, but the f cotton and flax crops are going to be obsolete now thanks to this the sea salt agave and eventually when we have this functioning tailors um uh, and my first plan for the tailors will be to get those stations in here uh, right on on these darker ones we'll have the weaving loom and the spinning wheels and then that is my plan for the bakery as well the plan is to get functioning uh, stations in here and the time to work it out is now so uh, my issue guys we're going to go with the white ones my issue here we're going to free place them uh, my issue here is making sure I can get in and out of the, the door this back entrance smoothly make sure I'm hiding the ground underneath the kiln and make sure I'm not clipping too much into the neighboring building but that part I'm not going to stress too much about Okay, that looks like about the same angle. That's that's more of an angle for sure. Somewhere in there is the way to go. All right, okay. You know what? We got to rotate it more. God dang it. Okay, so I think it would be something... Oh, come on. Like that? Okay. Okay, let's back up and take a look here. That looks symmetrical, and I built up on on the sides where that would be intersecting with these kilns uh, because I knew that once we put them in, we'd have trouble placing. So we clip ever so slightly into this building. Whatever it is, we can work around it. We can put storage there. We can we can definitely work around it. I'm not worried about that. And then on this side, we clip into it. But you'll notice it's on this black, not black, dark brown area. I intend for this area to be hidden, so we can definitely work around hiding that too. I'm going to have just a little way, basically a way you can look in and access spinning wheels and weaving looms, but have them all be hidden back there. I think that is the way I want to do it. So I think I'm good with these placements. Now, even when they were far apart in my test version, I would occasionally glitch. But no, that looks good. I might decide to put doors in the back of there. But our next plan... Uh, okay, good. I have some. Our next plan would be... Oh, my hammer. Is my hammer broken? Constantly. Constantly. So get repair kits going, guys. They're great. So my next plan is to work out these. So these are the stoves. These are what you use primarily for cooking. So I want this to be a bakery. My first plan would be to, to work out the inside so it feels like a bakery. Um, I think what I'll need to do is figure out the material. And I think it'll be more of this sandstone to come around the front with uh, so that I can maybe build along this little wall here for my, uh, for my uh, stoves whatever they're called same thing along here and I have kind of an ingenious idea we'll see if I'm able to pull it off guys but uh, okay so there is also a white version of this it'll match that thing lovely lovely it'll, it'll be lovely it'll be a lovely match I guess are the words I'm looking for but you can spin things around like crazy and if I can find a way to make them all level with each other I'm thinking that being able to do this and it's the getting them level with each other part that's that's difficult uh, I'm thinking I can use these as the basis for a countertop. Am I crazy? All right, guys, I've been working on something. 
uh, I had to start putting in the front here in order to to get to feel like I was starting to figure out what I wanted to do with this. And I, I should probably figure out the sides here as well. Um, the block I have been using and the one that I have found to be looking good for me, and there there is a simpler version of it, um, but uh, I've been using this block right here. So it has this weird little pattern on the one side, and on the other side it has similar to the, uh, similar to the, whatchamacallit, actually better than the marble we used. It's got a similar pattern to the marble we used, but it's double-sided. And so I've gone ahead and made the front like that. I think it'll be enough. It'll stand out enough from the buildings on either side of it. I'm going to use some more wood uh, when designing the tailors. Go back to maybe the clay and stone down here. But I think this building can step outside of... Uh, can, can step outside of the, the norm a little bit and start using some of these sandstone, sandstone blocks we brought home. So I think what I will do uh, is uh, go ahead and do this. All right, and we're going to try this on one side and see if I can make this look good here, guys. I'm going to build a cross like this. Now, uh, I had thought about, I had, still am thinking about using the beams as my uh, countertop here. And tucking the, the stoves underneath it. I also have desk, uh, what you might call it, this piece here. And this piece would work fairly well. It would not be quite the right size, but okay, if I were able to do something like that, right? Let's just try this while, while before it's all set. And we'll do this stove. And actually, that's an interesting way to do it too. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, and then it's going to look less like a countertop, but it'll still look more built in. I wonder, maybe that's the direction we go. And how many could you comfortably fit across here? One, two. Okay, and the alternative is getting them to fit under here. Whoops. Okay, they're going to want to give trouble. So we'll get to here and then go up. So that's the alternative. Man, I think I, I think, I think I like the boring. I think I like the second version. I think I like that as a design. Okay, are we gonna stick with these desks? Twenty seconds to decide. I think we are definitely gonna go with these desks because of the way I've done it. Now we could do it like that. Oh man, that brings it so close. We could also do this. I think we'll stick with that. I think we'll stick with that and we'll figure out how to do shelves for loaves of bread on top. But we are going to try to make this upside down furnace thing, stove thing work. Let's go with the white version. Let's get one centered and we'll work out the other two based on it. I'm going to use the G adjustment until it's looking good. Uh-huh. And I'll just try and go across. If you hold control while placing, guys, you can you can get a way to adjust it where you keep things in line. That's what I did for the second two. Once I found a, a for the second and third, once I, I found a position I liked for the first, guys, that is perfect. That is exactly what I was hoping this would look like. Um, if you were feeling super industrious and you wanted to make it look like a wall of ovens, I think even this would look good. So uh, if we did this, I think then you know, build across like this with three more. You know, if you line them up properly, I think that would look great. I just kind of <laughs> free handed it. But I think I think for us, let's get this back. Come on. There we go. I think for us, these three hidden under here, that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'll go recreate it on this side. And then I think I may leave the bakery and the building design for later. I've given it enough of a head start, enough flavor that I know what I'm going to have to do with it. But uh, I, today's about getting this, the new stations into their new homes. So far, nailed it on kilns. We're about to nail it on the stove. And then after that, we can work on the uh, this stuff here. We can start hiding that in the back of the tailors. We could do the spinning wheel, the weaving loom. We could even find a good spot to hide this dying stand. I think it's all going to look great, guys. All right, be back in your life in a moment. All right, guys, let's talk about this Taylor's. The idea is, I guess, a glass window, couple of things inside of it. 
and then you come in and it looks like outfits all along the walls so I don't need to go to too much trouble uh, I do want to hide some of my crafting stations under there and the ones that we want to hide let's see if I have this stuff to craft them uh, are the spinning station spinning wheel and I think what we'll do guys is turn it maybe like this and then we're gonna sink it into the ground so like it's just barely whoops that didn't work out but we'll sink it into the ground so it's just barely sticking out and then what I want to do is build up over and around this so what I was thinking about for a building material on this back wall was um, was logs so that I could do something not logs beams so that I could do something like this um, now my only thing is I'm wondering if it might be crazy to try and paint these beams so that they are a different color so maybe a darker shade of brown I think that would look really good uh, let's go ahead and do this uh, and then once once I have a bit of a back wall on here I think what we can do and gosh I'm not gonna be able to build properly on on here am I now we'll have to take down maybe we'll have to take down some of the plants oh no should be good okay so yeah I'm gonna try dyeing some uh, beams and some wood pieces the little uh, square cubes um, I'll try putting up a back wall maybe up to around this height and then I'll bring you guys back to hide these and then maybe encase them with uh, yeah we'll see with a little hidden door or something like that I think it could be fun okay give me a moment Ooh, baby Ooh, baby this could look good all right guys I think think we're on to something now whether we can keep this up or not for a big build I don't know uh, it requires a lot of black dye so far just to get to this point let's go ahead and do that put one more like this one more like this and I can't believe I've I haven't run out I thought I wouldn't have made enough for sure all right let's check that out for now uh, not going to be able to use any of the big ones. Okay, so I might as well use them across the top here. And we'll have to go make a few of these smaller ones here in a moment. Maybe do that. All right. I don't know. I can probably do one more. I don't want to end up blocking a potential door. I feel like that's still a good enough height for a door. I, I believe so. Okay. Sounds good, guys. So uh, why don't I get myself a little light? before it is gone and let's go ahead and finish this up with these little cubes and I made up more of these than I thought I, I than I thought I was going to but it's actually going to be perfect given that there's so much to work for or work around for a door that will eventually look into this back garden we'll go one two three four perfect and this is what I had in mind. This is kind of the vision I had, but I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Okay, how many more of these? I have lots. Okay, let's just get this in here then. Okay. Okay. That looks cool, guys. That is gonna that is gonna feel like a tailor's. That is gonna feel sleek. And we still have some building pieces left, not a lot. Um but that will totally work for us. Okay, so now that I have done that, I can get working on the stations hidden under here. I can plan out how to do that. Um, I'm going to wait for daylight, though. I will be back. Dang it. That is not going to work. That is not going to work at all. All right, guys. There's no such thing as a chef's hat or a baker's hat. So I've been working on <laughs> something that could pass for a baker's hat. And my first attempt was this mushroom hat made from the, the toadstools, the little red ones, and I dyed it white, and I think it looks great, and I thought I would try the other mushroom hat, no dice. You know what? I'm going to dye it to match a loaf of bread, and it can just look like a really big loaf of bread. I really don't know what to do with this thing for now, guys. We're going to leave that hat there. That one's not bad, though, and I had this stupid shirt I didn't know what to do with. I couldn't find a way to make it look good. I think it looks like a bit of, bit like a baker's apron. I'm happy. Uh, and then you see in here, I don't know what we're going to do with this space here, guys. What I do know is that we are going to use the tailors. And obviously the, the rest of this build is something I'm going to save for another video. This is setting us up for a week of epic videos. Build a bakery, build a tailor, build an inn, maybe, who knows. I laid out a second side of the building over here that would be connected to it with an overpass. That's what I'm picturing. Not an overpass, but like, sort of like this, 
but thicker with a roof on it, and maybe you can walk between the two sides. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and that would go next to this bakery. This bakery kind of looks like a pizza pizza, if you're from Ontario, Canada. You know what I'm talking about? Looks kind of tacky. Looks like uh, I'll have to make that look so much better. Anyway, this looks great, guys, and we need to get in here and finish up the video. So what I will eventually do is put this kind of stuff in a window here, and I think I have room for one big window. Boom. And I think I have room for one small window. So one three by one higher than a door, and one four by one higher than a door, and we'll just have wood across the top. Tick, tick, tick. I think. I think that's how we'll do it. Um, but come on in, guys. This is the space that I want to use to hide our crafting stations and I have a couple of sneaky ideas on that front so let's take a look at the spinning wheel I think we want three of these so let's go ahead and cram it right down to the floor and go one two three right and then we're also gonna want a weaving loom like that for now do we want to try and get a dying station hidden in here too because if that's the case, then we turn it like this. And you know what? We'll lower that. Um, just looking at the heights here, guys. And tick, tick, tick. Okay. Okay, guys. We are going to work fast. We are going to build over the next two minutes. Because I don't think these things are going to be staying put. I want to remove those. So let's build quickly. Starting with the weaving loom. And I'm going to put three of them in here. So we'll go one, two, three. And lower it and I think we're gonna lower it quite significantly maybe until it looks just like that and we'll do one two three of those and we're gonna try the weaving loom let's make one of those and we're gonna shrink that down too until it's sitting nice and low and we'll do that okay perfect and I think there would be room for the dying station um, how much time we got on these 40 seconds. Okay, let's do one more row of beams, like so. And let's try. Do I have enough beams left? Probably not. Uh, quickly. All right, guys. I have already been too slow. Those beams above me are set in place. Wood is, is thankfully more forgiving and a little easier to remove than all the other building materials so far. But let's put that in there. And I'll show you. I'm a little late in showing you. I was hoping to do it before everything was set in place. But it's now set in place. So I think what we are going to do is that. And we're going to build up to and around that. So, boom. And boom. Right? And I think that will work. I think we'll be able to work on the inside of the door. I almost definitely want to replace these guys, but I'm not sure I can. If I take them out, I might get a clipping issue. I wonder. Okay, but maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because I can't paint this door and because it does match the floor. Uh, maybe I don't need to do these in another material. Maybe we'll just uh, work it out. I'll work it out with you guys here with me. Um, okay, so let's do another row of beams. Like here and here. And we are going to boom. Come on. Go here. And go here. Perfect. Ooh, I want too many. Let's take you out. And let's do a little bit of stone. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Do I like that? I like that. I think that's going to function for us. The question is about this stone. I don't think I like the stone. So let's take the stone out for now. Let's put one more a beam right here. And I'll have to work out the details from there. But I think maybe from here is where I'll, I'll start to incorporate stone. Maybe I will go around it like this. Or up on the sides. Yeah, something like that will work. Is this going to be stupid? And I think what's happening, guys, I got some pieces just stored back here. Uh, I think I can probably get them out of here. I think I have to get this one, too. And I was just hiding hiding the junk that was on the side there. Oh, it's that kiln that's causing me the clipping issue. So I would have to come out like this. That's fine. Let's do that on this side, too. Perfect, guys. And and so I can leave the rest of this to be built in later. I do want to try and maybe even hide the dying station, dying stand back in here. You know what? Why don't I do that before we call it an episode?
Guys, I, I am liking this so far. I could see this being uh, in a, you know, fashion stores. You have sometimes a raised platform where you can put more little mannequins dressed up in outfits. That could totally work to that effect. Uh, in this hidden door, that's an awesome way to do that. If you don't know, you know, you don't know what to do and put these in a point place where they look good, you can hide them like that. So we're also trying to do that with the dying station. Now, this thing is very strange looking compared to some of the other stations in the game. It's very fantastical. That's it right there. I've already got one in place. I don't know if it suits the aesthetic of a uh, uh, tailor, which is what we're going for. But this bottom bit could. This bottom bit just looks like maybe some steampunky, uh, I don't know, something or other. So I'm wondering if we can flip this upside down like we did with the stoves right there and maybe hide it in a way that's going to look good. So I think what I will try and do, uh, is that the right size? It's not. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of these wooden desks. And boom. And boom. Okay, perfect. So we'll put those in there. That seals that up pretty well. And then we go ahead and we make a new dying stand and we flip it upside down. And we hide the glass bits in the ground. Maybe place it like that. Now the that bottom part is fairly unattractive, I have to admit. Let's try this before we do it. That big chunky bottom part is a little bit hard to look at. Uh, but the dials and stuff, those look cool. So let's try that. And let's go in like this. And let's move you up ever so slightly. Yep. Oh crap, I forgot you can't, at least with me, I can't make adjustments like that. Uh, I can only make sort of one direction of adjustment. Uh, now, if you hold control and use your D-pad, you can really get things the way you like them. So let's try that. Oh, oh baby, did we do something good or what? That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so I think I've successfully repurposed and hidden my spinning wheels, my weaving loom, and now my dying station all within a tailor's that will be a focus of a build later this week. A bakery has been put in place. I have found a new home for my kilns and a better, more efficient way to do all my cooking. Off the back, I have got this epic garden made basically for baking bread and no other purpose. And now we got a main street. Dang, I'm rambling, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Islands with me, UTC, from the Geeks Patreon server. Click on this playlist to watch more of this series. Click here to check out the Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode.